Yo, how are we doing everybody? It's time to play Pokemon Emerald <laughs> Nuzlocke once again. Yo, I see we got Tenth Doctor, Super Sin Slayer, and Ben Dominator in here. How are we doing everybody? Hopefully good. So yeah, last time we went up to the gym leader and we died. So <laughs> we're going to be starting from the beginning again. Oh yeah, I don't have to change any of that. Perfect. Wouldn't want to have to do all that, man. That would be lame. Yeah, what's up everybody? How we doing? Hopefully we're having a good day today. Like me, I am pretty tired. <laughs> I've spent most of today like cleaning and uh, working on uh, uh, getting my new ethernet cord through the house. Uh, Super Sense Slayer says, so let's see, we're using Mudkip this time. Uh, yes, I believe someone rigged the raffle. I think it was Nura. I'm not too sure. Someone rigged it. Or not the raffle, but someone rigged, bribed me to use Mudkip, so... Oh yeah, it was Glackham, that's who it was. A hundred bits for a Mudkip. But yeah, no, if no one's gonna beat his bribe, and I'm gonna very quickly get to the Pokemon before anyone can try to get any bits in. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, we're gonna very quickly get there, we're gonna choose Mudkip so fast. That is the plan. Oh, I need that Mudkip, man. I need that Mudkip. I'm so tired of dying to the third gym leader. And especially Roxanne, because she's so difficult, dude. So difficult. Like, it's so much luck. No one is Doomsday for Doomsday in Smash? Um, I will not be playing Smash against them this week. I need to buy another Ethernet cord to uh, plug into my Wii U. One that I used to use is gone now. And yo, Grand Magusta in here with the host. Yo, what up? Um, I think I'll actually set the time this time. Let's set it to a uh, good old seven, yeah? How about yo, Grandma? I'm doing super good. Uh, playing the video games. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, so yeah, that's six, seven. It's like what, seven o five? Yeah, <laughs> that'll do. What's up, Mom? Ah, yes, everything's put neat in a way. Can I, can I go now? Sheesh. <sighs> of course not. Gotta look at this thing on TV. Grand Magusa says, question. Has anyone in here played through any Oracle games yet? Oracle. Uh, I don't know what an Oracle game is. Oh wait, you mean the uh, Zelda games, right? Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons? I have never touched either of those. I, um, I've played, like, I think maybe two dungeons in Link's Awakening, but that's it. Been meaning to play those? Yeah, man, same here. I'll play them eventually, for sure. It just hasn't quite happened yet. Yeah, I should probably link on my, uh, Twitters and whatnot that I'm actually online. Let me do that real fast. Let's see. What will I say? I'll just keep it short. Pokemon! Yeah, I'll just say Pokemon Emerald. And then live, I guess? Pokemon Emerald live. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't it? Bam. Excuse you, little girl, you're in the way. Put that on Facebook, and then also Twitter, because I'm so all over the social medias. There it is. Alright, uh, Grand Magusa was saying, oh, Hippo rigged my raffle and made me play them. Alright, quickly, quickly, choose the Mudkip! Haha! <laughs> we can't go back now. I have the Mudkip, we're good to go. Let's see. So you're done with Awakening and Seasons, and nearly done with Oracle of Ages? Oh, nice! So you've beaten all of those games, man. Yo, how'd you, how'd you care for them? Were they, uh, you know, really old school, and there were some frustrating moments to them, or was it like, oh my goodness, this is how video games used to be made back in the good old days? Yeah, I haven't played the Oracle games, but I've seen snippets of them. They look very similar to Awakening. And Grand Magusa says, but I wondered if I can beat Ganon with a wooden sword. <laughs> Yo, if you can, do it. That sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah, with Awakening, I had a lot of fun playing that one. 
And it really does feel a lot like uh, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, the Game Boy Advance game. Which, um, if I remember right, uh, Link's Awakening is done by Nintendo, and then I think the Oracle games are done by Capcom, and then the uh, Minish Cap is also done by Capcom. Like, KD Inafune, I'm pretty sure, is the producer for Minish Cap. I'm not sure if he's the producer for the other, for the Oracle ones. But yeah, those are Capcom games we're playing, man. Clearly inspired by all the Mega Man. Clearly. But now, let's see. Grand Magoose is saying, so far I liked Awakening more than the Oracle games. But Ages was better than Seasons, in your opinion? Okay, okay. Fair enough. Super Sin Slayer says, you'd be correct about that assessment. Oh, snap. Yeah, no, man. I need to, I need to get in on that. Like, obviously, you know, we're all about that Pokemon right now, but one day, one day I'll make my great return to playing the Zelda games, and we're gonna do all sorts of stuff, man. Gotta get them three heart challenges in. Because, yeah, so far, the only games I've done on stream uh, with three heart challenges was Link to the Past and, uh, and Mudkip. Oh, yeah, I forgot to... I didn't give him a name. I forgot about that. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, speaking of which, I'm level 5. That's that's a fair fight. No fair fights. I'm always forgetting to name my Pokemon in the Nuzlux. Always forget. But yeah, Tenth Doctor, if you want to be Tenth Mudkip, that can be the case. You did donate $5, so that gives you 5 Pokemon. And let's see, uh, Grand Magusa was saying, Thing is, you have to do a trading quest to upgrade your sword. Ah, uh, nobody wants to do all that. Oh, wow, I'm- no, I'm running away. Forget this zigzag goon. It got two growls in, it's level four. There's a chance it could win the fight. <laughs> no, thank you. Now, Grand Magus is saying, already beat every boss before Ganon, kinda? So we will find out if Wood beats Ganon. Yo, that's a good- that's a good question, man. Cause it's, uh... Like, um, in some of the other Zelda games, like, you have to have either the Master Sword, or you have to have, like, the silver arrows, or light arrows, or whatever. So... I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Alright, there we go. Level 6. We'll go ahead and heal up, and then we can go fight the rival. Yeah, now it's not a fair fight anymore. We have a one-level advantage. I don't know how strong the one-level advantage is, but I think I can win the 6v5. I feel good about it. Grand Magusa saying, I heard that the Noble Sword level 2 needs to spend the damage and the Master Sword level 3 can just attack. Oh, yeah? Huh. If you have to use the spin on the Noble Sword... Oh, the question is if level 1 spin can still deal damage to Ganon? I'd assume not, but maybe? I don't know. Because I know the spin attack, generally in the Zelda games, you know, it, it gives you that one extra damage. I mean, it depends on the game, but yeah, it usually gives you the one extra damage. So, if you need the spin on the upgraded sword above wood, it would be my assumption that the wooden sword with spin wouldn't be able to do it. I could be wrong, though. Who knows how it's programmed? It could be more complex than what I'm anticipating. Grand Magusa says, I doubt it, but if I have to, then I gotta backtrack so much. <laughs> Yo, man, I wish you the best of luck with that. Oh, he's got Leer. He doesn't have Growl. I'm gonna be hitting him for full damage. I spoke too soon. I'd have to hit him with my attacks to deal full damage. Ooh, a critical hit! <laughs> Yo, let's go! Yeah, not losing the level 6 uh, V5 today. No say. Yo, guys, man. I don't know, like, how many of us are, like, paying attention to, uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, but, like, I've been re-watching the footage from E3, man, and it blows my mind how low-level all the trainer Pokémon are. I don't know if it's, like, a, um... If it's a, uh, like, it was just a show floor demo thing, and, like, they don't... Oh, yo! EWF Nor with the host. Yo, let's go. Thank you very much. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's, like just a demo, but if I remember right, they showed off three trainer fights, 
There was uh, Bug Catcher Rick with a level 3 Caterpie. And uh, EW Fnor says, My host doesn't matter since I'm gonna stream in like five. <laughs> you know, it's all good. You know, there are definitely people that host me for like zero viewers just to like make the sound play, and I'm cool with that. Like, you know, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Alright, so let's go talk to uh, Mr. Professor. Super Sin Slayer says, Let's go, Pikachu Eevee. Has you playing Pokemon Go again? Oh, that's nice, man. You know, always good to hear it. And yo, D saying memes, and A Magusta. Yo, how you doing, Ds? Yo, you ready for Smash Ultimate, man? I know you've been, uh, talking about something with, like, his aura and recovery. I don't know what that has to do with, uh, Smash Ultimate, but you were saying something about it. Memes? Yo, Ds is, like, a memes lord. That's all he does. He is one with the memes. Like, he's my friend on Facebook, and, you know, every now and then it's like, huh, should I unfollow him for, like, a day? Not, not, you know, stop being friends, but you can actually make it so, like, you can't see what people are posting for, like, a day, or you could just set it to never see what they post. <laughs> um, not that I would do that. I'm just saying, man. Sometimes there's just 50 hundred memes on his Facebook, and he acknowledges it, too. Because, like, one of his most recent memes on his Facebook was, like, it's that meme of, like, uh, I think it's, uh, the guy with the two buttons. And he's like, ah, should I post a meme or try not to spam all the memes? Having a lot of trouble. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you be like that, EWF Nor? Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it is what it is. People like their memes, and I like memes, too. I just, it's a little bit annoying to me on Facebook when, like, I'm trying to, you know, see what my friends are up to and I'm scrolling through Facebook. And it's just meme, 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 meme. And it's not just D's. I have a lot of friends that are into the memes. Well, I say a lot of friends. It's more like three, and they just post a lot. <laughs> so it's really tough. And yo, NRG saying sup. Yo, what's up, man? But yeah, no, I, uh, I'm cool with the memes. They just... I prefer quantity to my memes versus just, or quality, not quantity. Alright, let's name this wormhole. I will name it. Now, EW Fnor says, no, I said it'd be like that since my message got auto modded, then <laughs> removed. Yeah, rip. Yo, auto mod OP. What am I gonna name this bug? And D says, yeah, I know, I go overboard. Sorry, the memes are probably going to die down now that uh, E3 is over. Yeah. I mean, people. People have been really, really excited. Name it Bugs? I mean, it's been Buggy, Bugsy, and now Bugs. <laughs> we've gone, we've covered all the, like, super unoriginal names for Wurmple. I feel good about this. Alright, can I have some more Pokeballs, please? By the way, you're gonna call Smash, uh, Ultimate Smush? Yeah, a few people are doing that. Cause I mean, that's all you gotta do, right? Like, we have too many, like, top players saying, don't call it Smush. That's the worst thing you could ever do. Like, look at anything on the internet, man. Anything on the internet, and, it, and be like, uh, for any of those that are just like, why is this successful? It's probably because at some point in its lifespan, someone got really upset and said, don't do this. That's just the opposite of what you should do, man. It's human nature. If you tell people not to do things, they're just going to do it. So all these top players are like, don't call it smush. That's the worst thing you could do. They're all going to call it smush because you're telling them not to. Oh, man. The pros are doing the Barbra Streisand effect on smush. Yo, you can't, you can't do it. You can't do that. It's such a bad idea. It's such a bad idea, man. It's now me. Like, I think smush sounds pretty dumb, but... Nah, I, I don't say that. I'm just like, oh boy, Smash Ultimate looks really cool, and I leave it at that. I don't, you know, try to start these huge Twitter Twitter threads going on and on about smush and why people, you know, are one way or the other if they're calling it smush. Like, calm down. Thanks, why are you saying smush? It's smush, not smoosh? Eh. <laughs> it's dumb either way. But yeah, nah, I'll just be calling it Smash Ultimate. Like, I'll either- I've been calling it Smash Switch, Smash Ultimate, but mostly Smash 5. 
just because I'm used to calling, you know, the previous one Smash 4. Uh, let's see, Puccina's nickname, I will name it... Um... Uh... <laughs> well... Oh, well, since we're, like, on the topic, I shall name it Smush. Because I like that better. Alright, so we got the Puccina for this. Yo, Smalt Swalt? <laughs> what are those names? Uh, D saying someone was saying we should call it S Smitch? What? <laughs> that is a terrible name. But I mean, it is what it is. Like, Smash 4, when it was first coming out, had a bunch of stupid names as well. Whatever's the most popular, that's what's gonna happen, man. Happens every time. And, uh, NRG saying, but it's gotta be just a refined and definite version of Smash U, right? Um, oh, is it gonna be that? Um, kinda? I guess it depends on what you, like, consider, like, a ref- Yeah, nah, like, um, let me put it this way. It's definitely absolutely not a port. In no way, shape, or form. Uh, Smash 5 was made from the ground up for the Nintendo Switch. When it comes to playability of the game, the game plays pretty similar from what we can tell, but there's a lot of differences. Like, pretty much on the scale of a uh, brawl. I mean, like, it isn't immediately transparent just by looking at it, but yeah, like, uh, knockback angles are different, knockback distance is different, uh, damage that characters are dealing is different. Um, some characters have new moves they didn't have before, like Ganondorf, Dr. Mario. And I'm sure there's others, but we haven't seen them all yet. Uh, there's new characters in the game, there's new stages in the game. Uh, the mechanics of the gameplay is different with the multi-directional dodge, which is going to completely alter how uh, neutral is played. Especially the, um, the diminishing returns on dodges as well. You can't dodge too many times in a row or you lose all invincibility. So, oh man, Deez, you better work on that. Um, also, let's see, what was I gonna say? I'm trying to remember mechanical changes. Oh yeah, jump squats are apparently, like, gone pretty much. Every character can jump. And it takes, like, three frames or something like that, so jumping's faster. Apparently, uh, landing lag across the board is diminished. There's a lot of changes. Oh yeah, and you can perform any action out of the dash, which you could not do before. <laughs> Jesus, are you calling me a four glory scrub? I mean, like, to be 100% real, Deez, I haven't seen you play in, like, what, three years? No, four years? It's It's been a while. It's been a while, so I don't know how your movement has changed. But I mean, back in the day, you know, that's what I always used to say about D's. It's like, people are like, oh my goodness, I lost to D's, I can't believe I lost to him. And it's, he just rolls around everywhere, he can only move through rolling. It's like, well then why do you lose to that? <laughs> like, don't lose to that. Like, um, if you know he's gonna roll, then use a move that can punish the roll. And like, cause like, the problem is, is people keep going for like, super, like, maximum damage or like, perfect kill setups on the punish for the roll instead of just going for a hit that has a lot of active frames or covers a lot of range. It's like, yeah, you know, if you have difficulty, you know, timing and positioning uh, these dodge punishes, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta fix that. Now, Super Sin Slayer says, yeah, you'll start off with a small roster though. You'll steadily unlock everyone. Yes, yes, this is true. Biggest change uh, Tenth Doctor noticed was observing the knockback speed. Yeah, the knockback speed's really weird. Apparently the way it works is it's uh, dependent on how far you're gonna go. The farther you go, the faster you'll move away. Which is weird, because <laughs> it's like, I don't know, it's, it's weird to explain, but... You just, just look at it, man. Watch someone, like, get hit by a forward smash from, like, Little Mac in Smash 5, and then compare it with, uh, Smash 4, and, like, depending on the percentages, like, they just go so fast when it's, uh, high up. It's really, it's really weird, because it, it scales so awkwardly. But hey, we get to catch a Zigzagoon. Let's catch this guy. We didn't have to catch the Puccinas, because we already had one for this Nuzlocke. We're using, uh, Species Claws. So let's catch the zigzag. 
Uh, D says one of the sets is up. Uh, one of my sets is up on Twitch, by the way. I versed the second PR cloud from Queenland. I lost 2-0 on stream. Rip. It was on the BAM stream. Yo, that's cool, man. I mean, it's a shame you got 2-0 on stream. But I'm glad you have a set on stream that I can check out. That sounds pretty cool. What am I gonna name this Sigga Zagga Goon? Uh, the knockback is instant. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. And Grand Magusta saying, I love it as a party game, but just doing the challenges is also grand. I do hope we get new single player content. That would be cool. And uh, Energy, the small roster is so great. You cannot imagine how I appreciate that decision. Every fighting game should have that, like back in the days. I mean, like... If I'm playing the game more as a single player experience, I prefer uh, unlocking the characters myself. But if it's more a, uh, I play the game mostly for tournaments, that is like the worst thing you could do. It's like really, really the worst thing. Because it's like every time someone brings a setup uh, to the tournament, it's like, yeah, you know, we'll play Smash on this. And it's like, you have none of the characters unlocked. Zag Zagoon, name it Ziggy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ziggy. I, I like Ziggy more. But yeah, man, I've been to so many like Marvel vs. Capcom 3 tournaments, uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl tournaments, and just people not having all the characters is just really, really annoying. And like, also for uh, like Smash, uh, yeah, for Smash 4, one of the things you needed to do for that game, uh, for the have the proper rule set was unlock all the stages because you can't actually set the stage select to random if you needed to use that you can't use that option unless you have all the stages unlocked and one of the stages you had to play that um what was it called smash tour i think you had to do like a four player smash tour and like it's i don't care for that mode at all i think it's really bad so it was it was a little annoying a little bit annoying. Alright, so none of these Pokemon are super good for fighting Roxanne, but I'm gonna level up Bugs. He's saying, oh yeah, I remember that was an issue back in the day. Yup. And RG says it should have an option for those situations for a single story experience. It's great. I agree. Like, as a kid, I had a lot of fun playing Super Mario or Super Smash Bros. 64 in Melee and just unlocking all the characters one at a time. And especially, you know, back then, before the internet, when I had no idea who the characters were going to be. And then, you know, suddenly it's like, whoa, is that Ness from Earthbound? He's in Smash 64, wow! He hasn't had a game since the Super Nintendo, which, I mean, wasn't that far back at the time, but it was just, it was so interesting to me, because it's like, you know, like, I understood, like, Mario and Donkey Kong being in there. They had so many games, but Ness? He'd only been in one game! I saw- I thought that was so cool. And, uh, let's see. Smash Tour was for Pac-Land? Yeah, I remember. Ren Magusa says, well, I gotta say, if you go to a tournament, the one thing I would say, unlock all stages, unlock all characters, should be needed if you want to give a setup. Yes, a new challenger approaches, uh, in your childhood, it was like Pog Champ. Yes, yes, yes. Nah, seeing that pop up was always really cool. But, like, again, like, it's just, it's really unfortunate, because it just means, um, when you're doing those early tournaments, it's just gonna be a real hassle, like, you just might not have all the setups. Because, like, people are gonna wanna play, like, as soon as the game comes out, right? And, like, they'll, up, they'll unlock the character they wanna play as, and then, you know, just play the game from there and unlock characters naturally. And then, you know, there'll be a tournament, say, one week after the game comes out, and they'll show up to that tournament, and there will be maybe three consoles brought in that have all the characters unlocked. Three. And then, you know, it's like there's 30, 40 people here that all want to play in this tournament. It's unfeasible. We can't run this tournament with only three setups. It's just not a thing. So, you know, you either, like, force it so only so many people are allowed to enter the tournament, or, again, you're just like, we can't really make this tournament happen, you delay it even longer. But... Because, I mean, it's understandable, because, like, when it, the game first comes out, no one really knows how to play it that well. So it's like, the tournaments don't really say too much about anyone's skill. But at the same time, it's just really hype. Like, people want to do that, like, day one, week one tournament. Every time. Let's see, D is saying, uh, not gonna lie, I think maybe the new rules about stages is going to kind of stale. Just because it's eventually going to be half the stages or triplets. 
I mean, I have no idea, like, what they're gonna do with that. I assume they'll use, uh, stage striking like we used to do in, uh, Smash 4. Well, like, it depends on the region. Some regions had, like, all of these stages legal, right? When the game was new on Wii U. And so, like, you would do the, like, one band, two bands, or, or my bad, one strike, two strikes, two strikes, two strikes, and you just kept going. So it's like, yeah, there's gonna be a lot of stages now, but you're gonna get more strikes to deal with that as well. But I mean, I think that'll be a lot healthier for the game overall. Because, like, Smash 4 stage list is hot garbage. Yeah, most regions, I think, run, like, what is it, five stages or something? Let's see, it's like, Final Destination, Town and City, Smashville, Battlefield, and then, uh, Lilat. I think a lot of people will only run those five stages. They don't do Dreamland, and it's like, Dreamland is completely different from Battlefield. We're like, it's got three platforms, it's the same stage. <laughs> no, it's not! It's, it's not the same at all! Oh, man. Super Sin Slayer says there's bound to be more information. Oops, that is the wrong menu. Uh, to come to describe more about how you'll unlock all the characters, as well as more info on single player and any new characters to come. I assume it'll be the same as all the other games. I assume you can just play a lot of games and unlock either every character or like most of the characters, but like maybe three. But yeah, just play a bunch of games. It's like, oh, you played 700 games, you've unlocked all the characters now. Or, you know, it'll be a bit more lame and like there'll be like some sort of adventure mode, which I do hope there's an adventure mode, I really do. But they might like force you to have to play the adventure mode and do certain like achievements to unlock the characters. Which, I mean, was cool back in the day on Melee. It's like, what? You can get to the end of the stage with two seconds left, and then you get to fight Luigi instead of Mario, and it has a cutscene of him jumping on Mario's head? Like, that was pretty hype. It was pretty amazing. But, you know, again, it's just the differences between casual and competitive play. The more difficult they make it for uh, unlocking the characters, the more difficult it is to run tournaments. Uh, Grand Magusa says, early game tournaments are mostly just fun. Uh, not really saying much about skill, more like the right persons can learn about new mechanics fast and choose people that are just good at reading the game mechanics. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, no one's gonna come out there, like, week one or whatever, and be dropping the craziest combos in the world. That's just not gonna happen. But, there will definitely be people that can just show, like, how quickly they can, uh, latch on to those new mechanics and understand, like, how to exploit those, even if it's at a basic level. Even all the characters in Smash 4 took no time at all. Yeah, Smash 4 wasn't too bad. If I remember right, a lot of the characters start off unlocked in Smash 4? I want to say that's the case. An NRG saying something like Subspace and Missionary in the classic adventure mode of Melee would be great. You like both? Yeah, man, I'd be cool with either one. Like, I hope if they do Subspace and Missionary, though, that it's not, um... They don't put in all the, like... What's it called? They don't make you redo it twice. Like, that was really lame. When you get to Taboo, and then Taboo turns everyone into a statue, and then I think Kirby, like, pops out of it, and then you have to, like, do everything all over again. And it's like, I literally just went through everything in the game. I got to the final boss, and you're like, nah, do everything again, then you can fight the final boss. That was really annoying to me, and just felt like they were trying to extend the length of the game. Which was weird, because Subspace of Missionary was already really long. I, I don't understand why they had to, do, you know, increase it any longer. Um, oh wait, ground is not effective on bug, I forgot about that. He's was saying that Lucario thing you're referring to, by the way. It's a theory I have, which is that if Aura still works like Smash, I can probably air dodge offstage at high percent and make it back for free compared to other characters. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, because um, I've noticed, like, even if you're air dodging upwards, like, there's so much lag, you fall so far down. So I imagine characters like Little Mac wouldn't be able to recover if he's like, grabbing the ledge with the air dodge. And then, uh, like, characters, like, Link? Link probably, I don't think, would be able to make it either. If he recovers, you know, about as well as he did somewhere between, like, Brawl and Smash 4. Because his recovery was pretty garbage. 
But uh, yeah, no, Lucario, Villager, Snake, there's quite a few characters that can recover vertically very, very well. So I don't think they'll have a problem. Smash 4 had a pretty big roster, it, it really did. And Smash 5 has the biggest roster of any of the games. And we get to start with, what is it, eight characters? So we're gonna have to unlock more characters than we've ever had to unlock in any Smash Brothers game. Again, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing in and of itself. I'm just saying, the early days are gonna be rough. <laughs> And uh, Ben saying all this talk about Smash makes you want to play it? Yeah, I actually uh, got my Wii U out of the closet the other day. I was trying to see if it would work, uh, just naturally, and man, I forgot how much of a hassle it was to get it to, like, connect to all online. Because I was like, yeah, let's just do this wirelessly, and it's like, nope, I don't like your router. You have to do this exception to be able to get through the firewall or whatever. I'm like, alright, whatever, let me just use my LAN adapter, and I'm trying to use a LAN adapter, and it doesn't want to accept the LAN adapter. I don't know, it was, it was a real hassle. I eventually got it to connect, though. Eventually. And, uh, Wilmot says, So I went to start a new game on your, uh, Game Boy Player with Pokemon Blue. You forgot? It has your dream team. You've all won 51, and your Blastoise is named DMX. You can't delete that. You really can't. That's, uh, that's pretty amazing, dude. How'd you get, a uh, Mew? Was that, like, uh... Were you living in one of the areas where Nintendo was, like, doing the Mew giveaways, or did you, like, travel to one of the giveaways? Because I know some kids did that. Like, they legit were like, yeah, let's just go to New York. One Mew, please. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't do any of that. No, sir. I got a Mew for Fire Red, but that's, like, it was so much more accessible than the Mews back in the day. When can Instant Detonate his bomb, though, this version? Oh, yeah, but <laughs> that's still not super good. Not with how heavy he is, man. He falls pretty fast. Not having control of your character, even for a short period of time, is not really good for characters that are off stage and <laughs> don't have high vertical recovery. Let's see. Wilmot saying the best advancement on Smash on Switch versus Wii U. No one is stuck with Joy-Cons? <laughs> Wait, what? Or no one is stuck with the Wii remote and none, chat. Ah, uh, yeah. But yeah, now the Joy-Cons, man. I don't know. I don't know about them Joy-Cons. Like, at the very least, they're better than the Wii Mote by itself. Because you have an analog stick on it versus the D-pad for the Wii Motes. And people would just use those. Because those were the worst controllers, man. Trying to use just that. Because it's like... You want to do tilts? So, like, you have to, like, hold the direction down and like press it like right within the spacing because you can't really space for it like that's not really an option so i don't know i guess maybe it'll be a bit better you know super sense slayer says link is buffed in many ways but he doesn't have a claw shot for long range and tether grabs he can't use bombs to extend his recovery yeah he's he's looking better in uh, a couple of ways and I think just because he's a hard hitter, I think all hard hitters are going to be better in this game, IMO. Like, Little Mac, Bowser, Donkey Kong, uh, Wario, DDD, Ganondorf, I think they're all going to be a lot stronger in this game. Oh yeah, Captain Falcon as well, he hits pretty hard. And actually, Zelda! Zelda's forward smash is one of the hardest hitting forward smashes in the game, as far as damage and knockback goes. You don't think about it because she's a dainty princess. But nah, that forward smash means business, dude. It really does. Let's see. A uh, woman well, says, So I was in grade school and this older kid on the bus said he would get Mew for me for $5. So I gave him my cartridge and the next day I had Mew. <laughs> probably a Game Shark trade. Yeah, no, nah, man, probably. But hey, you know, a Mew's a Mew. <laughs> a Mew is a Mew. Because, like, you didn't really have a lot of a choice back then, man. Like, if you lived in certain areas, you just couldn't get access to a legit Mew. You know, there was no internet back then. And yeah, Nintendo did like one or two events, I think, where they were uh, putting the Mews out there. And you had to show up to those places within those specific amount of times. It was very poorly advertised. Terrible. Terrible, I tell you. He says that feeling when you throw shade at Wemo Nunchucks. You have a top player Nas who still use them. I mean, it is what it is. 
Like, uh, Wiimote Nunchuck is usable for, uh, like, Brawl or whatever. It's really not the best. You are playing to a disadvantage. But it's better than pure Wiimote. I'll give you that one. But I mean, like, honestly, it doesn't matter what you use. You can literally just use the Wiimote. If you're better than your opponents, then yeah, you're gonna wreck with that. It's like, it's so, it's so silly, right? When, like, people argue about that, like, too much, if they take it too seriously. Because it's, it's the same thing with, like, arcade sticks versus, uh, game pads in traditional fighting games with, like, Street Fighter and King of Fighters and all that. People are like, yeah, man, you need an arcade stick or you're not a real fighter. And yet there's plenty of national and regional tournaments that have been won by gamepad players. Generally, people that play, uh, like Zangief and other characters that have to do 360 motions, where, you know, you rotate the analog stick all the way around, that's just a lot easier to do uh, in uh, these top-tier Zangief players' opinions on gamepad. And uh, Winner saying Ridley's command grab drags you across the stage and throws you pretty far, even at 0%. His tail does 50% at the tip. Yeah, man, it does 59. Like, he hits you, it does 50, and then it does the second hit, which puts the other 9 in there. Obviously, they're going to change that, man. There's no way. There's no way they're keeping that in. That is ridiculous, 59%. I mean, I'd play that. I'd play Ridley, like, tomorrow. I mean, if the game was actually out. But yeah, I would play Ridley, and it would be so free. It'd be like, oh man, this Sheik, you know, she combos me for free, but I landed side B once, so we're even. Especially because, you know, damage, knockback scaling is higher in 1v1s. I mean, not technically knockback scaling, it's just the fact that attacks deal more damage, and therefore deal more knockback. But, um, but yeah, nah, Ridley can KO at pretty low percents with his smash attack, so I think he'll be pretty good. Omen says, I mean, if you like them, fine. I got used to this setup, but you prefer Joy-Cons over Wiimotes by far? <laughs> yeah, nah, I hear you on that, man. It's like, anybody can do anything on any controller if they're good enough. But, like, you are at a bit of a disadvantage with certain, uh, controllers. Like, the Joy-Con isn't exactly the biggest controller in the world, but it has an analog stick on it, which is a huge improvement over the, uh, single Wiimote. And D says, uh, oh, at BAM, a Yamcha won the Dragon Ball Fighter Z tournament? Yeah, that's very silly. I mean, Yamcha's not a bad character in the game. He's really not. Like, if I remember right, the top tier characters, though, are, like, the Gokus and Vegeta. Oh, and Gohan. I think Gohan, like, uh, adult Gohan, I believe he has some, like, ridiculous setups. So, Zamasu just came out, and I'm told he's, like, really, really good. Think Ridley will handle similar to old Ganondorf? Not at all. I don't really think so. Um, I mean, just the way he, like, his movement looks completely different. Um... Yeah, no, I, I don't really see any similarities besides the fact that they're both just hard hitters. Uh, Ridley has much more mobility than Ganondorf. He has that charge fireball thing, which is really, really good. Because, like, what's so annoying with, um, like, when you're shooting single projectiles, those can always be clanked out with an attack. Projectiles have the lowest uh, priority when it comes to trades in Smash Brothers, or at least they have in Smash 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't know if 5 is going to change that. But my point is, when Ridley shoots all those fireballs, you can only clank out so many of those. You have to shield or move out of the way. So that gives him a pretty useful zoning tool, which is very good to have as, you know, a big heavy hitter, because normally big heavy hitting characters have to be the one to approach. Like, Bowser has his fire breath, but it's extremely limited. He's, uh, like, he's so stuck in that attack when he does it, and also the range goes away, like, really fast. Because, uh, the fire breath, like, just slowly goes closer to him the longer he's using it. But yeah, Bowser doesn't do much. Like, uh, Wario, like, he has a better time, he has a better neutral because of his bike. But yeah, not so much for the others. Like, the Gordos are pretty bad. Or not the Gordos, the Waddle Dees that DDD throws. But yeah, he did Gordos only in uh, Smash 4, didn't he? Which is nice, but 
It's still it's still just too slow, and you can just hit him back. It's one projectile at a time. They're just such weak projectiles compared to like Sheik. Sheik has some of the best projectiles in the game, man. It's ridiculous. And uh, let's see. I think. Wait, no, I already read that. All right, I'm all caught up. Awesome. <laughs> it took me a while. But yeah, no, Ridley looks really, really good. He's saying, I heard on Twitter people saying Lucario's counter is instant. I'm pretty sure it's because of what was shown in the trailer, but I mean the active hitbox to counter is frame 5. So if it's frame 1, that's legit such a buff. Hopefully the full version is like this. I assume it will be um, from the little information I've seen and heard from other people. It appears that all the counters across the board are just better. Like Little Max counters instant. Um, Ike and Mars counters are practically instant. I think they just wanted to make counters a lot better in Smash 5. Which is nice! I mean, personally I prefer to just have a different move. I think counters are pretty bad. But, if they're a lot faster, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they can change my mind. I'm gonna name this bird. And uh, Wilman's saying, I think I prefer the new Bowser look. He finally looks like the Bowser we all know again. Yeah, yeah. Bowser looks really nice in Smash 5. Like, I liked how he looked in uh, Smash 4, because he was standing more upright instead of being, you know, all lurched over, which he hasn't done since, like, 64. So, uh, yeah, him standing up in Smash 4 was really nice. And in Smash 5, they just added that extra detail to really make him, uh, you know, pop. Alright, Taylor, Taylor. I guess we'll name him Bowser, since that's what we're talking about. Bowser, the female Taylor. The only counter that's not as good is Bayo's. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's true. Apparently, Bayonetta's lost her invincibility? Oh no. Which time? That's what I heard. I don't know how real that is. Alright, so far, man, I'm feeling this. I don't really care for any of the Pokemon that we have so far. Like, I mean, Bugs could be good. Bugs could, if he becomes a Beautifly, that would be great. If he becomes a Dustox, that's also not the end of the world. Um, Smush has proven to me just how weak its defenses are. I'm not really huge into Puccina. Zigzagoon is a Pokemon I've yet to ever level. And Bowser, or Talo. I mean, at least we have a Mon that can fly, but... It's not gonna help me fight the, uh, third gym. And he's not too good on the second gym either, because he's normal flying type. Which, yeah, just isn't useful at all. Alright, you wanna fight me, guy? Bring it. And, uh, Wilmot saying fingers crossed for a hipster Bowser costume? Yo, that would be cool, man. I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised, because, uh, Mario has his, like, wedding outfit from, um... Odyssey, so why not give, you know, the wedding outfit to Bowser, too? I think that would be cute. And D says, how many bits to change Poochie's name? It is a hundred bits to change a Pokemon's name. And you can't change the name if it's named after someone else. Which, I will be naming my Mudkip after 10th Doctor. <laughs> how many do you have? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, uh, I'm not quite on that full level. Sellout. I'm just a little bit of a sellout. But yo, speaking of bits, I've been really lucky with those today. Like, normally, when I like go to watch bits during the day, it's just not an option. But yeah, I was able to watch bits for like I think about an hour. I mean, I wasn't like there clicking every single time the ad was possible because I was busy like doing other things. But uh, still, it was nice to get some bits. I haven't gotten bits in a while. We're gonna request to change it to Poochie Yinny. Poochie Yinny. Because of the memes. Yo, know, always memeing, Ds. Always memeing. Yo, level 7. Are we a Silcoon or a Cascoon? Let's go. Guess I kinda have to beat this guy first. Yeah, doesn't he only know Bite at this level? Oh no, he knows growth, that's fair. Wilman's saying, is it just random that they let you do that? Uh, random to do what? Oh, the watching of the ads? Yeah, it seems to be completely random as far as I can tell. Like, um... There 
doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason. I know, like, um, occasionally when you go to watch ads, it'll ask you questions. If it ever asks you, like, hey, do you have a cat? And you say no, you're gonna get less ads. Because it wants to sell you cat food. If you say, yes, I have a cat, you're gonna suddenly get a lot of cat food ads. And you're gonna be like, do you go on vacations uh, frequently? You choose yes. You're gonna have a lot of ads that are be like, oh wow, look at this cruise, only cost this, da 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 da. Do you, uh, have you watched movies within the past six months? <laughs> yes, and then you'll get whatever, like, the newest movie that's about to come out. You're just plenty of ads for that. How it works. And Soccer's saying, Random still hasn't gotten ads in months. I mean, obviously, it's all about demographics, and um, it's based on your own, like, cookies and history. If you were to delete your, uh, your history for Twitch and whatnot, then, like, it won't know who you are anymore, and it'll ask you questions again. But if, like, you're saying, no, I don't have a cat, no, I don't go on vacation, no, I don't watch movies, no, I don't need glasses, if you keep saying things like that, if it, that happens to be the case, you will get no ads, <laughs> because you don't fit the demographic they're looking for. If you're not in the demographic, then no ads for you. So, it is what it is. Well, I've been saying, lol, Twitch is probably scared to ask me for ads, then. Yeah, no, man. I mean, that's just how companies are, man. Like, it's not just, like, Twitch. Like, YouTube's very similar with how it comes to, uh, what kind of ads it gives you. Because they're trying to, you know, hit that demographic. So it's going to base that off of the information that they can see about you on your Google profile, what kind of videos that you watch, stuff like that. So, if you have a lot of information that... It's just like, I don't buy anything. <laughs> They're not going to want to give you ads. Is what it is. Alright, Magikarp. It's me versus you. And yeah, we, we got the Cascoon. I was hoping for the Soulcoon. Didn't happen. We're living the Cascoon life, which means we're going to get a Dust Ox this time. But I mean, Dustox is still good for Brawly, because I believe Dustox is Bug Poison, and so that's not double resist. I don't believe Poison resists fighting, but Bug resists fighting, so it's it's a start. And yo, 2% milk's in here, how you doing? Norman saying, yeah, adverts don't affect me other than movie and game deets. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Like, for me, when it comes to, like, watching ads, like, I generally don't pay a lot of attention to ads unless they just happen to be actually interesting. Like, um, say there's some new game coming out that I don't know about, and it's like, yeah, this new game's coming out, it's got giant robots in it! I'm like, but I love giant robots, then yeah, I want to watch that ad. But if it's like, oh yeah, here's this game about Call of Duty, <laughs> I don't, I don't care about Call of Duty, <laughs> why are you giving me this ad? Not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna play this. Not gonna do it. I might get Black Ops 4. I might do that. But, it will not be a game I play on stream, and I'm purely getting it. If I do get it, I'm not set on that. But if I do get it, it's 100% for the zombies. What's the level cap? The level cap is based off of the gym leader's strongest Pokemon. So the current level cap is 15. And yeah, like, Mudkip's our strongest Pokemon at the moment, at level 10. Um, I believe Mudkip can, like, solo the gym leader, so I'm mostly just trying to level up Mudkip. But I've been given some level of bugs, because I'm gonna have to use them for the second gym leader. Just trying to prepare for the future. <laughs> well, I'm saying, lol, I thought you said, here's this ad about how to duty. <laughs> No, no, no. Not quite. Not quite. This isn't like a Wreck-It Ralph stream. Where I make puns like that. No, sir. Yeah, what did, what did she call it? Was it Hero's Duty? Something like that. Very silly. Nah, man. Nah. <laughs> call of Duty. Not into that. Uh, Bean Jr. saying, Vanks has been awake for 14 hours? Insane! Give me your secrets! <laughs> Um, well, one, I have not been awake for, uh, 14 hours. Like, this isn't a speedrun, this is a Nuzlocke, and my timer, I just 
pause it in between streams. I've been streaming this game for about four days now, I think. I think it's been about it's four or five days. And yeah, all those days together have added up to 14 hours. Yeah, it must be four. I don't think it's been, um, I don't think it's been five. Yo, 2% milk says, every time I do a Nuzlocke, I lose at the 5th gen. Or 5th gem. Okay, okay, I was confused there for a second. <laughs> Banks equals Mega Man confirmed. <laughs> Why am I Mega Man? I'm confused. Must have been something I said. But yeah, no. Uh, for me, it depends on the generation. I've only done three Nuzlocke's, I guess. Well, four if you count Pokemon Uranium, but that game's stupid. And I stopped playing in the middle of that one. I was like, nah, this, this game is garbage. I was all done. I don't think it's actual garbage. I'm not a huge fan of how edgy it is, and the level curve is just terrible. And I'm not a fan of all the fake on but I gave it a shot. But, um, Pokemon Red, I never game over it on that one. Like, I found Pokemon Red to be pretty easy. Gold! Ah, oh, are you serious? Well, there goes Bugs. Guess we're not using him for the second gym after all. Never mind. Oh, gosh darn critical hits, man. But, uh, what was I saying? I was saying something before Cascoon died. Goodbye, Cascoon. Goodbye. I don't know. I, I've lost my train of thought. I'm pretty upset. Like, I had, like, 12 HP, dude, and you took it all in one hit. Like, I think he had been tail whipping me, but, like, even with the tail whips, he wasn't gonna take me out. But when he got the critical hit, that's where it was. Thanks equals Mega Man because he's been up for 14 hours with no sleep? Oh, okay, okay. And, uh, Bean Jr. was saying, So I recently got the Splatoon 2 bundle. Best $120 you ever spent. I also bought a 128GB micro for your Switch. Nice, that is, that is a good investment if you ask me. Goodbye, bugs! See you later. When I'm not streaming, I'm de-resting Super Mario Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, not quite, man. I haven't played Super Mario Odyssey in a while. Not since, like, the last stream, man. When we were doing the, uh, speedruns. We did Boxer Percent, and then, um... What was it called? Any percent, I think? Yeah, I think we were doing any percent and boxer percent. Which was fun, but yeah, it's just not my main game. Super Sensor saying, not true, Banks. In your Pokemon Red Nuzlocke, you lost the very first fight in Game Over. That doesn't count! That doesn't count, Super Sensor. If you lose the rival fight at the very beginning, it doesn't really count. Like, I still started over, but like, if we're being 100% real here, like, you have no impact over that match. If you're playing no items, and you're doing the Nuzlocke for that fight, yeah, no, nah, you have no control over that. The Charmander doesn't count. It really doesn't. But yeah, no, nah, like, we, um, we got through everything fine for the most part. My The rival fight did body my team pretty bad. I lost a lot of Pokemon in the rival fight right before the Elite Four. But after that, it was smooth sailing. But we didn't game over in red. And gold, I game overed in um, a few times. I think it was five times? I game overed the first time in Sprout Tower, because I was like really impatient, used up all my PP on my tackle attacks for Hoot Hoot, and I wasn't paying attention, or I just didn't care too much, I guess. And yeah, nah, I uh, couldn't attack the last guy. I just couldn't attack him, and so he kind of swept my team. I mean, I had my Totodile, but Totodile does not beat Bell Sprouts. Alright, Slack off, huh? Guess we'll catch this guy. And then, um... So yeah, we game over to Sprout Tower, then we game over to Whitney. Whitney is ridiculous. That gym is so stupid hard, and that's the third gym in that one. And then, um... We game over to the hiker after that, the hiker right before Azela Town, the one that's just waiting for you right outside the cave, just asking to body you, because I didn't have anything to hit rock type Pokemon, because I think I was again out of like water guns or something. But yeah, I couldn't touch him, and he just swept my whole team with the uh, Geodude. I mean, the Menke had to come in to finish the job, but yeah, or not Menke, Machop. 
Yeah, he bodied me with those. Mostly the GB. I'm not gonna name the slack off. Yo, that doesn't count, Super Sin Slayer. Most people that Nuzlocke red, if they die in the rival fight, they just keep playing. That doesn't count. Um, what am I gonna name you? I'm gonna name you... Super Snore You? Nah. It's not a cool name. Uh, I could just name him Z's, that's pretty unoriginal. 2% <laughs> milk says it counts. Yo, man. Well, whether it counts or it doesn't count, it shouldn't be brought up in conversation when referring to the game's difficulty. It's just not even a thing. Slack Daddy? <laughs> Yo! That's silly. Bread? Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Slack Daddy. I think that's the most interesting of all of those. If it'll fit. Write a few letters. Um, do it like this. Slack Daddy. Alright. Let's go to Slack Daddy. Believe in yourself. <laughs> Sid the Sloth? No, nah, man. Not that name, no sir. But, uh, <laughs> bread is loafing around, you know. I, I, I get it. I get it. Oh, whoops. I'm still asleep. But, uh, so yeah. Uh, game over to Sprout Tower, then Whitney, then the Hiker, then... Was it Whitney again? I think it might have been Whitney again. Did I game over to Whitney twice? No, I don't, I, I don't think I game over to Whitney a second time, did I? I might have. I'm not too sure. But I definitely game over to Morty right after Whitney. Because, like, he would just... He paralyzed and put... He put, like, half my team in status conditions, either through paralysis or sleep. And, like, I just couldn't do anything. And then, um, the fifth time I game over was until Claire. So that was a long period of time before there was another, like, difficulty spike. And then we were good from there. Then, um, what was the next one? Oh, yeah, and then we started playing Pokemon Emerald. And I game over the first time at Roxanne, <laughs> the very first gym leader. His nose pads is stupid OP. She gets two potions to heal him with, and it's holding an Orenberry, man. It's got three healing items. Ridiculous. And you know, I don't expect to say nice. Thanks, thanks. Eh. <laughs> I just like the name, man. It was a good one. It was a good choice. And then, um... See, so yeah, Roxanne. And then we have game over to Watson twice. A third gym leader. Two times in a row, man. He's just so OP. Oh yeah, this part. Forgot about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. <laughs> Hiding behind a little child. He's so brave, ain't he? Yeah, ugh, Watson's just ridiculous. But we finally have Mudkip who, you know, has a uh, ground type attacks and is a ground type. So I can't be hit by electricity. Um, I can't be thunder waved. I can't be sparked. So yeah, no more paralysis. None of that, man. We are all done. That stupid stuff. But yo, let me go uh, check out Mudkip's uh, level moveset. Forget what that is. Yeah, I want to see if, like, I should, um, not evolve too quickly, because I know it learns moves faster. It doesn't evolve. See if there's anything that's important. Yeah, the, uh, max for, um, Watson's level 25. Or no, 24, I believe. Yeah, level 24. I can learn Mud Sports. Which, I mean, yeah, it does cover the user in mud to raise electrical resistance. Oh, that doesn't affect everyone, right? That just affects me in this generation, I think? If that's the case, that's pretty useless. I don't remember. I mean, I don't feel like that's really that useful in any way, shape, or form. And yeah, I wouldn't get mud shot if... Yeah, I don't get mud shot unless I evolve, so... I should evolve as soon as possible, that would be preferable. Alright, well now we know. <laughs> Definitely evolve Mudkip, very important.
Yo, what up, Ninkata? Goodbye, Ninkata. But yeah, as long as we get to level 15 and we put an orange berry on Mudkip, it should be an easy fight. Easy peasy fight. I mean, I really, really hope I can catch an Ninkata, though. It's like, you can catch an Ninkata on the route above us. So I'm gonna try to go for that. Speaking of which, because of the Nuzlocke rule set, I should try going to the cave first to get the Wismer. So there isn't a chance of a Wismer taking up my slot. But there's also Skitty. We could get Skitty, which would be pretty useless. Because we already have, like, a normal type Pokemon. I don't need a Skitty. Um... And what's the other Pokemon up there? There's Puccina, I already have Puccina, I already have Talo. So the odds are pretty high, I think, that we'll get either Ninkata or Skitty as long as I don't get the Wismer first. Gotta get rid of that Wismer. Because you can only catch Wismer in the cave. But you can also catch Wismer outside. So it's like, if you're going to use up your Wismer for the Species Claws, you should get it from the cave. Yo, what up? You want to give me Bullet Seed? I thank you. Lovely, lovely person. Alright. I think I'm not gonna bother to grab the, um... Watering pail from the person this time, because, like, I never use it, so it's like, what's the point? But... Pretty sure this person gives me a, uh, seed, though. Or a berry? A lepa berry. That's a really, really rare berry, so that was a good get. But, who knows how long this Nuzlocke will last. I would not mind having that Lepa Berry, man. I want to have that. How are we doing? Oh, we're pretty good on HP and everything. I'll accept your challenge. I have a lot of money. <laughs> Why are you going to tell me all that? Wait, what? Use the... Water gun? Yeah. Uh, D saying, Yo, Vinx, when I get big on Twitch, I've got some stuff planned with Pokemon. It's gonna be fun. Yo, what do you consider big on Twitch? And also, what are you gonna do with Pokemon? When that becomes the case. Alright, get out of here, rich boy, Winston. See you later. And Zucker says, saying, I have a lot of money to strangers on the road isn't the brightest idea. <laughs> it's really not. Those lines are hilarious. They're pretty good, man. Yo, it feels like it's coming straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh, man. From the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh bridge. So silly. Alright, Low Tide, he is water grass type, so he double resists my water gun. Guess we're gonna have to use some tackles. Bye, Luke's head. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a double trainer coming up in a second. And they will want to fight with two Pokemon. But I only got one good one. The good thing he doesn't seem to ow. <laughs> I was gonna say how many grass type attacks. But I'm times four weak to grass. Yeah, that level advantage is pretty huge. He dealt five damage to me. Times four weak. Yo, you should work on that. I shouldn't have battled. No, not really. But hey man, it is what it is. Alright, uh... I should be fine. Um... I'm gonna level one of these people up. Who should I level? Uh... I plan on pretty much just using, um... I pretty much just plan on using Mudkit for most of, uh... Watson. I should probably have a second Pokemon for that. I also don't have a Pokemon for fighting, uh, the next gym. Oh, I really, really would have helped if I would have had that, uh, bug, man, but the Cascoon died to a crit. Uh, Puccina is a dark type. That is pretty bad. Normal type. Also not good. <laughs> I don't have any good options. They're all bad. <laughs> They're all bad. He's saying, like, average 15 new, uh, viewers, maybe? You don't really want to say because it's still in the works for now? Yeah, fair enough, man. I mean, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't know, I deal with, uh, a lot of people that are kind of like that. We're like, yeah, man, I don't want anyone to steal my super secret project. When, like, the true secret is, 
And like, I'm not trying to be rude to you. I, I mean this more in like a general, you know, thing. Like, people don't care. Like, they don't care what your secret thing is. Like, the best thing you could do, in my opinion, is get people interested in your projects, even if they're not, you know, like that far in. I mean, obviously, it depends on the situation. Like, if you're doing something that, um, if you're doing something that's like, say, you're making a game, and it's not far into development, then you wouldn't really want to talk about that, because people are just like, this is never going to be a thing, this isn't real, you know, no one's going to believe you, versus, like, yeah, if you're just doing some small thing, man, it's just so not a big deal and people don't care. Uh, do you say no, fair enough? No, no, it's not like that with me. Okay, okay. But yeah, man, I, I see that all the time, man. People want to be super secretive with their, like, projects or whatever, because they're worried people are going to steal it, and it's like... No one's gonna steal your idea, man. Like, <laughs> just nobody cares. They just don't. But yeah, you see it a lot with, like, indie game developers. You see it with some YouTubers. It's like... Your idea isn't as unique and crazy good as you think it is. It's a lot better to get it out there and see what people think of it. I mean, again, that's just my experience and, again, general statements. Um, hmm. Yeah, we should go catch some more Pokemon. I'm not gonna fight that uh, Fisher quite yet. I'm not ready! So if I could buy like one Repel, it should set me up. Yeah, one Repel, and then ten Pokeballs. Can you give me those? And then, um, actually, give me another 10 Pokeballs. I don't think I'll need that many, but it's better to have too many Pokeballs than too few. Oh, wait, actually, can I also have some, um, Paralyzed Heals? Give me a couple of those. And then, a couple Antidotes. Now I'm good. He's saying, uh, everything is just an early idea, so I'd rather plan a bit more, honestly, before saying anything. And rather have my mind knowing the right info before I say anything and say false info. Yeah, that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Like, um, I wouldn't be like, hey guys, I'm gonna do this this crazy tournament with Pokemon and have, like, no details. I just wouldn't bring it up. I wouldn't bring it up at all. Not until I know what I'm doing. Because otherwise, you know, you're just leading people on. Or, yeah, if you try to, like, go too into it and you don't even know what you have planned. Just a bad idea. Um, yeah, there's two trainers. You have to fight one of them regardless, thanks. I think the bottom path was the better path for some reason. Yeah, let's just do that. Repel. I did heal first, didn't I? Please tell me I did heal. Okay, yeah, I did. No worries, no worries. I'd rather not fight him just yet if I can help it. Oh no, he turns back around! Oh yeah, it's because you're running, I think. I think you can't run in this game if you want to skip past trainers. Alright, alright. Guess I'll just have to body some Wurmples. Get out of here, buddy. Yeah, this will put me at level 14. So the level cap's 15. So, this is going to be a little close. Like, I don't really have another Pokemon to switch to at the moment. I mean, I can go ahead and swap right here. Yeah, just getting that reduced experience on Mudkip is kind of the goal at the moment. Do I have... yeah, I have a Flying-type attack, and Ground-type does not resist flying, so it is super effective. Yeah, I guess I should, uh, move Taylor to the front position. I wish that did more damage, man. But yeah, no, nah, he has a two-level advantage on me. He's a two-stage evolution Pokémon, so I'm sure his stats are just all around better than mine, even if we were the same level. And crit! Are you serious, man? <sighs> well, 
I didn't want a flyer anyways. What are flyers for, man? Those are so useless. Um, the fourth gym leader in this one's fire, right? I shouldn't even think that far ahead. Nothing matters. None of it matters. You know, the crits are just way too real right now. Just way too real. Or Wingle. Wingle would be nice. Wingle would be really nice. I'd love a Tropius. Alright, that did six damage. And we got him. Perfect. So dumb! Ah, jeez, man. Ah, these crits, dude. These crits are just knocking me out left and right. See, he was using that dumb Poison Sting so many turns in a row. Not Poison Sting, Leech Life. And so I'm like, alright, he can't do much damage. And he uses Scratch. Which apparently is much, much stronger. He just outright bodies me. Feels bad, man. Feels really bad. Okay, good. Yeah, I just wasn't ready, man. I wasn't ready. Not for them crits. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> I didn't run that time. I thought I could get past her. And yo, Mad saying, what's up, man? Yo, nothing much. Just doing the good old Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke. It's, uh, not going too good! <laughs> yeah, it's not going too good right now. Because, uh... I've lost two Pokemon, I've lost Cascoon, it was one of my higher level Pokemon. I've lost my Halo now, which was also one of my higher level Pokemon. Feels really bad. Super Sin Slayer saying, uh, what was that about heavy hitters doing well in Smash Ultimate? Um, I believe that characters, cause like, essentially the way it works, right? Let me spell it out. Like, in Smash Brothers, the amount of knockback you deal is dependent on the amount of damage that you deal. So if, say, you have a forward smash that does 24%, that will do more damage than, say, someone else's forward smash that only does 21%. It's going, even though, you know, it's like a 3% difference in the number, it's going to have a huge effect on, like, when they actually get knocked out of the arena. I don't know if I can win this fight. Yeah, not with him doing 7 damage and absorb. I don't know if I can make the comeback though, especially after missing that tackle. I don't have really Pokemon to uh, make the comeback with. May have just lost to the Shroomish. May have. Absorb's just too OP, man. Growl doesn't help. <laughs> it really doesn't. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. Theoretically, you know, the more damage you deal, the better it should be, and 1v1 is increasing the amount of damage that heavy hitters are dealing, so... We shall see. Do I have Yawn? Tell me I have Yawn. I do, okay. Come on, Slack Daddy, maybe you can do this, man. Maybe you can win the fight. <laughs> Loafing around. Yeah, I might as well switch into Mudkip and try to get the tackles, or... I don't know, it's paralyzed, but... I loaf around every other turn. It's effectively the same thing. I don't know, I'd rather stay in on him, it feels safer. Gosh darn stupid, gosh darn stupid Trimish, man. And I'm loafing around. And now I'm paralyzed. <laughs> Yo, paralyzed and loafing around? Yeah, I have to swap and hope for the best. I have to swap, I don't have a choice. Like, I can't do anything with this. But I mean, I have to like, take this hit. He's not asleep yet. Alright, he's asleep. Now's my chance! Now's my chance! Go, Mudkip, go! You can do it, Mudkip! Believe in yourself! Now let me just get this critical tackle real quick. Real quick, 
critical tackle. Okay, not quite the crit, but we'll just we'll just finish him off here. And we're good. Oh jeez, man. I thought that was game. I thought that was game. I thought we were gonna game over. Like an hour in the stream, man. I mean an hour 17, but still. Ugh. What a nightmare. Alright, yeah, we gotta go back. <laughs> Have a repel on! But whatever my front Pokemon is, I guess, yeah, is not enough level. Only an hour and already plus two? And I'm pretty sure we're plus three. So yeah, we've lost Cascoon, Ziggy, and Bowser. They're all dead. <laughs> Game over and a reset might be preferable. Uh, they're mostly useless mons anyways. Like, the Cascoon was a good Pokemon. I wanted that one. But... Both Zigzagoon and Taylor were really not that useful. Plus three? Yeah, plus three. So it's gosh darn critical hits, man. Those critical hits are just way too good for me. Cause like, I know other Nuzlockers, what they do is they just literally go to like whatever the easiest route is, and they just grind on baby mons forever. And it's really slow and uninteresting and boring. I mean, if you want to grind, more power to you, but... You know, they all have their strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, if you grind a lot on baby mons, it's like, super boring. But also, if you don't grind a lot, and you're trying to take... And like, I'm not even taking even fights, I'm taking fights where I have a slight advantage. And I'm still losing because of the crits. Light advantage. In to lose. I need to buy another repel. But yeah, I don't have enough money. Wait, no, I do. I just fought some trainers. Alright, I'll take one repel, please. Yeah, I'm trying to not get the Wismer encounter in the, um, in the wild grass. We got a Puccina, but again, that's duplicate claws, so that's fine. That is fine. There's Pokemon. Which Mudkip into the front position, so I can actually walk through the grass. Use the Repel. Oh, whoops. I thought I used a Repel earlier. Did I buy two Repels? I meant only buy one. I don't know. Ah, gosh darn it. I was gonna, like, switch my Pokemon first, but he instantly looked over at me. Because I wanted to try to, like fight each of the trainers one at a time. Alright, so yeah, do you do level 8? You know, we're gonna do some swaps here, because I don't want Mudkip to get too high level. Yeah, we'll swap into Smoosh. Like, he can't win this fight, but he can take the experience. And it's a me, Mudkip! Alright, there's the Mud Sport. Completely useless move, and water gun. Alright, there's the you, dude. I'll take that. Go to Smoosh level 6. Yeah, I'm really just leveling him, because I have no one else to level. Don't really want to level Smoosh. I have to fight these trainers, so I will go ahead and take him on here. Oh, another Shroomish? Another Shroomish. Oh, that's not good. That's not good, man. This would have been a lot easier if I would have had that bird. I would have had my bird or my Cascoon, man, but they both went down. And yeah, there's a stun spore. Of course. Alright, we got the Yawn though. Yeah, go ahead and let him uh, get the hit in. You know, Ben Dominator said I'm still here by the way. Eh, never thought you left, man. It's all good. If you want to lurk, lurk, man. That's where it's at. Oh, and isn't he supposed to be renamed? Oh yeah, my Mudkip? I completely forgot to rename him. If we make it to Slateport, I will rename him, but we have to make it there. 
I don't know, man. Times are looking really, really tough. Really, really tough, dude. I am trying the best I can. Alright, so he woke up. Did 6 damage. Now, I think we can win this out, even with his absorbs. Super annoying. It's just I'm times 4 weak. Times 4 weak to grass, man. None of that times 2 stuff. Alright, what's his next Pokemon? Lotad? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, we're just gonna switch in Smoosh for the XP. He has Absorb 2, I forgot. Ah, uh, that's, that's not the best. Not the best. Alright. Let's try to get a Yawn off. Yeah, we're paralyzed, so it's 100% not guaranteed. That was that, 4 damage? And Ben saying, I've been playing Pokemon Red, and you're going into it. You thought you were going to be super broken, but it's not that bad. Oh, you thought it was going to be super broken. Yeah, no, that's, that's just good old normal Pokemon Red. Like, people really talk up, like, how glitchy and broken the game is. It's, it's really not that bad. It's really not. Like, I love Pokemon Red. In my opinion, it's one of the better games. But, for me, I think it's a better game because of how fast-paced it is. Like, you can just do everything so quickly. There aren't NPCs stopping you every, like, city or whatever to be like, Oh, hey, friend! It's been a while since we've talked! How you doing, bucko? Like, they don't, they don't do too much of that. How do I feel about this game? Honestly, I love every single Pokemon game. Like, uh, Pokemon... Let's see. I'd say my favorite is Pokemon Heart Gold. I think that's, like, the best game. Right behind that, I would put Sun and Moon, just because they're, like, so different compared to all the other ones. But it really helped, because, like, after doing, you know... Of uh, five generations, I didn't even make it to six, but five generations, I was starting to get really burnt out from the Pokemon formula. It just felt way too repetitive. I don't have any healing items. I am going to heal, and then we'll come back. We have another repel, so it's fine. This has been so much more of a struggle than it's supposed to be. Yeah, Pokemon Emerald's cool. Like, um, it's obviously a little bit harder than, um, Ruby and Sapphire are. It's a lot harder because I'm doing this hardcore Nuzlocke. But, um, still fun though, still fun. Um, I don't know, I don't really think there's a bad Pokemon game. I don't think any of the Pokemon games are bad. Like, my least favorite is Generation 5, but I've enjoyed every single generation. Uh, Matt saying, any advice for someone who wants to get into speedrunning? If you want to speedrun Pokemon, I highly, highly suggest doing Pokemon Red, just because it's, like, the fastest one. And so, therefore, as you're going through it, it's going to be a lot easier, in my opinion, to learn the game. And yeah, what you should do is just look up the, uh, recent guide. Like, if you go on speedrun.com, uh, look up Pokemon Red, and there will be resources on the left side once you look up the, uh, game. And, uh, doing that, We'll give you the uh, guide, the beginner's walkthrough. Use that, just have that open on another screen. I don't know if you have two monitors or not. If you have two monitors, that'd be very useful. Otherwise, you just kind of have to alt tab. And then yeah, just have the guide open and just play through the game with the guide. And you know, see, see what you can do with that. Yeah, that's the fastest way to get into Pokemon speedrunning. Just use a guide, just play the game. Don't worry about perfecting any movement, don't worry about perfecting any of the tricks. You don't need to do any of the tricks, just just play the game. And uh, Mad saying, no, 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 uh, not Pokemon Resident Evil HD Remaster. I know literally nothing about that game, <laughs> but uh, my advice would still be pretty much the same. Um, I don't know that scene, so I don't know if there's a lot of good guides or tutorials out there. Um, so with that being the case, what I would personally suggest you do is try to, um, watch speedruns of that game, see, you know, what they're doing, and then just try to imitate that as best as you can. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of tricks 
and setups you won't be able to do your first time going through the game. Just try to take the casual path for that. But yeah, as long as you can beat the game, then like that's the start. You know, as long as you're timing yourself and you continually do it, you will just improve, 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 and be faster. Dominator Sim, the only Pokemon game that I don't have a huge amount of fun playing is Pokemon Diamond, just because of how slow it is, how the story pacing is, but you still have fun with those games. I think Platinum fixes those problems. Yeah, I hear Platinum was like the good fix for Diamond and Pearl. But yeah, I played Diamond and Pearl when I was, uh, I wasn't really young, I was a teenager, I guess. But, like, I don't remember. I don't remember it being very slow. That's what everyone says. So I just kind of take their word for it. But uh, yeah, no, I love Generation 4. Generation 4 is probably my favorite generation. Because like Pearl and Platinum were my favorite games for a very long time. Well, they were like always, like they were my favorite and then Heart Gold came out and then Heart Gold was my favorite. But like Sinnoh was always right behind it. Like Heart Gold and Platinum are my all time favorite Pokemon games. Yeah, I was putting I was putting Sun or I guess Moon because I own Moon. I was putting Moon before Heart Gold, but yeah, no, nah, I think it would be yeah, definitely have to be Heart Gold, then Platinum, then Moon. But again, I like all the games. All right, so I finally made it here. Finally did it, man. Finally got here. I can catch the Pokemon. Let's catch a Pokemon. And by a Pokemon, I mean Whismur. This is the only one you can catch in this game. Really like Platinum and Heart Gold? Oh, they're so good, man. So good. Ooh. Really glad I didn't crit him there. But, um, what was I gonna say? It's like with... With Heart Gold, dude. Like, the level curve isn't the best, but it's a million times better than how it was. Okay, a million times is a bit of an exaggeration. <laughs> but it's way, way better than how it was in the original Gold and Silver. And I love Gold and Silver, man. I really do. I love how it, it's like that perfect mix in between, like, old and new Pokemon for me. It's like in Gold, you have the two regions. The game isn't very story-focused. So, like... Wait, what Pokemon is this? Halo? Alright. We don't we don't have to catch Talo. He, she's claws. See ya later, buddy. I want that Ninkata, man. Want that Ninkata. Yeah, what was I saying again? Oh yeah. Gold is the perfect balance, man. Perfect balance. It's like it's really, really fast paced. It doesn't have uh some of the silliness that we had in the uh, in red. Red has, you know, the Gen 1 misses. It doesn't have the special attack, special defense split. Um, it also has hold items, which obviously, you know, <laughs> are not in red. So I really like that. But it's, but it's really, really fast. It's really, really fast. Again, like, there's a few occasions where, like, people talk to you. Like, Lance talks to you a little bit. Your rival talks to you a little bit. But, like, that's, that's pretty much it pretty much it for like story sequences versus like right now in Hoenn man like um you have to talk to like the Devon guys quite a few times which is kind of annoying to me cuz it's um I don't know it's it's not a big deal it's just I like going fast I like to quickly do things and to be stuck in one area for a long period of time is just kind of annoying to me especially if they're not saying anything interesting it's like, oh uh, yeah, you're a cool kid, and you stopped that guy, aha, uh -huh, that was cool. Is that the gym over there? You should make sure to challenge the gym. But don't forget to visit the Pokemon Center, and oh, have you been buying Pokeballs? I just, uh, I hate that stuff, man. I hate that stuff. I mean, obviously, like, Moon's like my third favorite game, but it does actually have a lot of hand-holding like that in the game, which is pretty annoying. Which is why I find it the most difficult of all the games to go back to. I have not replayed Moon, I've only played it the one time. But I just love that initial experience so much that it's my uh, in my top three. Really, Ninkata? Can't you just go into the Pokeball? Like, come on, man. How are you going to be in the yellow and pop out instantly? Like, don't do that. Mad saying, do you feel a webcam is important to streaming? Nah. You don't need a webcam. Like, if I knew more about streaming now, I would have never used a webcam, just because I think it's a lot easier. 
But, um... I don't know. It's kind of a thing I've been doing for like two years now, so it'd be really weird to not use my webcam, but there's plenty of streamers, lots and lots of streamers that don't use a, web, uh, a webcam. It's a much easier way to start out. I think the webcam's more distracting than anything else. Um, what am I gonna name this Nincada? Uh, what am I gonna name you? I don't know. I should name you after a ninja, right? Oh, clearly you should be Hinata, the best ninja. Like, I don't want to just name it ninja, that's silly. I should name it after a ninja. But yeah, like, in my opinion, I feel that webcams really are only that useful when you're, like, trying to have that, like, really personal connection with uh, people in chat. Which is really hard to do when you're first starting out. <laughs> so I feel like it's not too useful. Because uh, when people come to your stream for the very first time, they're not coming for you. Like, how could they? They've never seen you before. They're coming for the video game. And through the video game, you know, they can get to know you. But before then, the webcam's just distracting. And possibly just expensive and unneeded. Alright, so we're doing good on Pokemon. We got five of them! Oh boy! Um, we're already max level on Mudkip, which is a little unfortunate because I don't know if I can get past all the gym trainers, that being the case. But, let's find out. Yeah, what we can do is... Oh wait. Um, ground resists rock, so... Bug ground is neutral, so if they throw a rock into my buggy's face, he'll be okay. He will be okay. Yeah, as long as he goes in first at level 15, I don't think Mudkip will get enough experience to hit 16. We should be fine. Yeah, Mudkip can one-hit these Geodudes, no problem. Yo, D-Train saying Hippo didn't use a webcam for his first two years, and he still has a pretty good following? Exactly. Because it's like, if you're not using that webcam, like, one, it's something you just don't have to hassle with, it's not part of your layout, it's something you don't have to invest into, and then also, like, I mean, I mean no offense to anyone, but a webcam can just be completely off-putting for some people. Like, if they, you know, don't like the quality of your webcam, because it's like you're all these garbage or like you don't have a good presentation which my presentation's pretty bad i think like it depends like some people care way too much and some people don't care at all weren't you supposed to rename mudkip yeah i didn't though <laughs> but it'll happen eventually when we get to slateport this isn't pokemon let's go i can't just rename him whenever i want to unfortunately but yeah it'll it'll happen one day. One day. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, with uh, Hippo and using his webcam not till two years later. That was a really good choice. Because, you know, like, I know a lot of people are like, Ah, oh, I don't have a webcam, you know, I shouldn't get into it. He didn't do any of that. He was just like, I can stream video games. Let me just stream. And he did. And it worked out great, man. That's how you do it. What cam do I use? I use a Logitech HD... Pro, I think it's called. And it's got some numbers to it. I, I don't remember the exact version of my webcam, but yeah, it's, it's a Logitech HD. Yeah, I think it's, actually, I think it's called a Logitech HD widescreen. It has, like, the wider camera, I guess. Or the wider resolution. Eh. It doesn't do anything too crazy. It's a webcam. Alright, I didn't switch for this one, but... I don't think he'll give me too much XP. I was wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. Oh, man. Alright, this is... Oh, I can skip him. That works out perfectly. Yeah, we're just gonna skip that guy. We're gonna try to solo this with Mudkip. I'm pretty sure Mudkip can solo this gem. Because of how strong Water Gun is. I can't learn Bullet Seed, can I? Oops, I gave him that. I didn't mean to do that. I don't think you can learn it anyway. Just give him the Orin Berry. 
And now it says she's the best, she is the best. We're looking at the Logitech C920, that's probably the one I have. I don't remember the numbers, I really don't. And Ben's saying, are you using uh, emulation software or console? I'm using emulation. It's so much easier. It's like, I could stream this from like original hardware, like I have a GameCube, I have the Game Boy Player for it, I have Pokemon Emerald, I have the controllers, I have the capture device, but it's just a lot of hassle, <laughs> so I don't do it. I know some people, like, they're, uh, they feel very, like, purist about it, I guess. They're like, it has to be on original hardware. I'm not, I don't feel that way. <laughs> I'm like, you know, whatever's, whatever's easier. Like, literally. For a lot of games, emulator's always the better option. You know, because I can just have all my saves on my computer and I can stream it, you know, naturally. It's very easy to capture. I don't have to do anything for that. Versus, um, what was I going to say? Versus, uh, yeah, if I were to use the actual, like, setup, man, it's, like, pretty bad. However, it depends on the game. Like, there's some 64 games, for instance, which have, like, kind of weird, uh, I don't know, the way they do certain animations or the way certain things are drawn on screen can't be properly emulated, and in those cases I'll generally play on original hardware instead. We're not even original hardware, just as long as it's, like, it actually works. Uh, for instance, Donkey Kong 64, I didn't play that on the 64 when I streamed it. I played it on, um, because I originally was doing it uh, through emulator, but apparently the emulator has some sort of bug which causes you to fall through the world, and I can't, I can't do anything, so the, it was literally unplayable on emulator. So, um, yeah, Tenth Doctor, I believe, donated, or was it Tenth Doctor or was it Zasu? It was one of them. One of them donated for me to play it on the Wii U, and I bought it on the Virtual Console, and I streamed it from there. But I didn't do that for, uh, Paper Mario, Thousand of, uh, yeah, The Thousand Year Door? Because, yeah, I tried streaming that one on emulator, and again, it had a lot of, like, drawing issues with the sprites and stuff. I don't know, there's a lot of effects I just didn't care for. But, um, once I, uh, used the GameCube, it was easy peasy. Alright, here we go. Mudkip's leveling up, which actually leveled twice in the middle of the fight, but that's fine. As far as my rule set is concerned. As long as I'm going into the fight at 15, it's all fair game. And I missed Mudshot! Because I leveled up twice though, I missed Mudshot. I'm missing one of my attacks. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Do I get it anyways for evolving? Nope. <laughs> nope! Yeah, rest in peace, guys. Yeah, no, all I got is Mud Slap, which is not even half as strong as Mudshot is. Ah, oh, that's really lame. It was probably Utense Doctor, it was like $8. Oh, okay, okay, that's fair. Now, I've been saying I like to use emulation consoles, like the Retron 5. I don't know what that is, but I've heard of emulation consoles. Well, I'm sure it's one of those. And yeah, those are pretty cool, man. It's a nice blend in between, you know, using a normal hardware and not... It's a lot easier as far as uh, getting your hands on the game. It's like, there's a lot of games out there you just can't get your hands on anymore. And the ones that are still out there, some of them are like $200. <laughs> it's like, nope, I'm not paying $200 for this game that was like $50, $60 when it released. And it's super old. No, oh, man. Not paying $200. No, thank you. It is not worth that much. Alright, so the new level cap is 19, I think it is. Let me double check that. Let's see, his name is Brawly. Let me check his Pokemans. Good old Mr. Brawly. Tell me what you got. Yeah, level 19. Alright, we're good, we're good. Yeah, last time I fought Brawly, I did it with um Combuskin, but I don't have Combuskin this time. I'm gonna have Marsh Stomp, and uh, I guess I'll level up Pinatas. It's the only <laughs> only gosh darn uh what am I trying to say? Non-normal type or non-weak to fighting type Pokemon on my team. Yeah, I have two normal types and a dark type. They're all weak to fighting. Hey, I finally have two Pokemon, so if I can make it to Watson, which I don't know if I will, but if I can make it to Watson, 
I should be able to beat him really easily this time. That would be super nice. But yeah, we're not gonna stay in on that Machop. No, sir. Insane. Uh, old Pokemon games are usually pretty cheap, but some other games are not. Yeah, it depends on the games. Like, I haven't seen in stores lately, like, anything older than Generation 4. And I've been seeing a lot of Generation 4 games going for, like, $40. And it's like, that's that's the price it was when it came out. <laughs> like, that was years ago, dude. That was, like, more than, like, what, 10 years ago? When, when did Gen 4 come out? I don't remember. Either way, it's super old. So, like, I don't know. I think that's kind of lame. And then, yeah, I've seen Gen 5 and Gen 6 games being, uh... $50, and it's like, why Why is it that much? <laughs> why is it $50? That's more than when it came out. So dumb. I think it's always weird when, like, the newest generation of Pokemon is less expensive than a generation before. It's just really silly to me. I mean, people are willing to pay for it. It is what it is. You know, the market, market chooses the price, that's what they say. And yeah, when I was referring to like expensive games, I was more thinking of like Mega Man X2 or like Earthbound. Like those are definitely games that like, if you want to buy the American version of it, it's going to cost you $200 or more. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous. In 4 was 2007? Yeah, so more than 10 years ago, jeez. Ridiculous, I tell ya. Ridiculous! Oh, I already picked up the item that was up there. <laughs> I went up there, because I always do, man. So yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's pretty crazy, man. All around. Like, slightly old gens being expensive. Certain Super Nintendo games costing an arm and a leg. It's ridiculous. Nah, I'm not about that life. No, sir. Oh, I wonder if there's any, like, good TMs I can get. I don't think so. I don't think there's any good TMs between here and, uh, Watson. Cause, yeah, like, I still don't know if I'll beat Brawly, but I'm not too worried about him. I imagine I'll be able to beat him without too much difficulty. I might have to sacrifice a Pokemon, but... I think it'll be fine. Yeah, the Makuhita... The Makuhita can be a little ridiculous, but... We're an evolved Pokemon, he's not, so that gives us a little bit of an advantage. I could always use, like, Mud Slap on him to reduce his accuracy and hope things work out from there. Yeah, I don't think the attacks he uses are 100% accurate. Let me double check that. I can look at that right now. He has Arm Thrust, Vital Throw, and Reversal. Let's see, Arm Thrust? Okay, Arm Thrust is 100. Vital Throw is 70. And Reversal is 100. Okay, so it's just the Vital Throw. Fair enough, fair enough. We can work around that. Yeah, I'm not scared of the Metatite or the Machop at all. I mean, it would be problematic if... Metatite gets up like the light screen and the reflect just in time to send in Makuhita because he does not need the additional defenses. He is very strong without those. Then he might be <laughs> a bit much. Yeah, 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 get out of here, guy. Yep, I saved your Pico. I'm the best. Alright, bye guys! Try not to get attacked by Team Aqua again. Yo, I haven't played Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire in forever. It's like, you know, I'm seeing all these things and they're 2D sprites, so I'm just curious how some of it looks in 3D. Like, I've seen it before, because I've played it. I just don't remember. Been too long. 
And you know, Vexatious is in here saying, Vex, I just finished catching up on Voltron and it's left me emotionally vulnerable. <laughs> Help me by getting good. Yo, know, I will do my best. I'll do my best to get the good. But yeah, jeez, man. Is Voltron that good? I know a lot of people talk about it, but I have not, uh, I've not watched more than, I think, two episodes? I think I've watched two episodes of Ultron, and it, I don't know, it wasn't really catching me. It felt, like, really, um, I don't know, just goofy, I guess, and I wasn't really feeling it. It's not like I need all my anime to be, like, super self-important or anything, but, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I haven't watched any anime in a while, actually. What's the last anime I watched? Was it Gundam? It might have been Gundam. Yeah, which year was it? I think it was like Gundam 83? Vex says it gets a lot better as the seasons goes on. It's on season 6 now. It was super dramatic and emotional. Oh, that's cool. So is it like uh, Star Wars Clone Wars? Because yeah, when that first came out, it was like... Pretty bad. It was pretty uninteresting. All the characters were really, really simple. It was very, I don't know, goofy and childlike. But then the later seasons, it's like, wow, this is a war. The war is terrible. But uh, yeah, no, just uh, I guess they just need those extra seasons, and then maybe that's the secret. Oh, I hate this scene, man. It goes on for. Ever. Like, I can't imagine, like, speedrunning the later Pokemon games. Because, like, on the one hand, if I were to speedrun, like, uh, Gen 3 or whatever, like, I wouldn't have to worry about Gen 1 misses. That by itself is super, super cool. Um, and then, like, it's a, I don't know, it's a real game, I guess? <laughs> like, that's, that's weird to say. More of what I mean is just like there's so few bugs, it's it's polished a lot more. So like, I don't know. Maybe it'd be a more interesting experience, but ah, uh, I don't like bashing through text. It's the least interesting thing in the world to be enforced tutorials. Because like this isn't like doing it by itself. I have to press these buttons. But if I don't press the buttons, they won't let me go. Like I I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Do not like force tutorials. Let's see, Vex was saying, yeah, that's a good way to put it. Definitely ramps up as it goes. I think there's one more season coming and that's it. Oh, that's cool, man. I'll have to check that out. Oh yeah, that's right. The president guy heals you, I forgot. I skipped all of the text, so I wasn't paying any attention. But yeah, man. I don't know, there's a lot of good stuff out there. Yeah, I've just been so busy, man. Like, um, cause like, obviously, you know, I do my stream, and that's like, between 7 to midnight. I go to sleep shortly after my stream, I wake up, I generally have like, a lot of chores or obligations that I have to meet. Oh my goodness. So, so much stuff I have to do, and then I usually help my family out with things, and then I try to like, work on things for my stream, or videos, stuff like that, and then I go back to streaming. Day in, day out. I just, I don't have the time for all the anime. Um... What am I gonna do? I don't think I can beat her, because she has... Wait, I have a Mudkip this time. What does she have? Let's see, May, Olipedia, yeah, help me out. And I did not get the down input off. Or wait. Hmm, that's weird. Normally when I press down for autofill on Google Chrome, it goes to the next thing, but it's locked. Alright, so Pokemon Emerald. Second battle, optional. Let's see. You choose Mudkip. Oh, she has a Wingle as her first Pokemon. And then Trico. Okay, uh... Nah, I don't think I can beat her. It's like, I could go level up my bug, but it's like... I mean, the bug would be useful against Trico, I guess? Because it's like... He can't hit me with anything super effective. I have Leech Life, which really isn't that strong, but... I resist his stuff. And then Marsh Stomp I could use on the Wingle. I could definitely take it out just because I'm so much higher level than it is. 
But um, does Nincata learn anything good in the next few levels? If I don't learn anything good, the fight's just not worth it. Let's see. By right, leveling up? In generation... Ah, gosh darn it. This is why you go to Cerebi Banks. Ninkata... Ruby Sapphire. I learn... Fury Swipes and Mind Reader. Nothing good. <laughs> I'm not fighting her, I refuse. She is, uh, she is not useful. Like, it's good XP and all, but... It's not worth dying over. You can get the XP elsewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not very good for a trainer. I, I get it. I know what you're trying to say. Oh yeah, I haven't fought this Fisher guy yet. can do that now. Give the XP to Ninkata, because I believe he just has two Magikarps. So it's a free fight. I don't have to do anything. Hello, buddy. You're a water Pokemon expert. I don't know if you can really call yourself a water Pokemon expert if all you have is three Magikarps. <laughs> like, that doesn't scream Pokemon expert of any type or sort to me. I mean, if he had like three Gyarados, that would be a different story. It could be the master of the Gyarados or something. <laughs> Expert of getting bodied? I know, right? But yo, how are you doing, Pyro? Nice to see you in here, man. Yeah, get out of here, Magic Card. Nobody asked for you. Go away. Go. And then another Magic Card. I mean, free XP is free. It just takes a while. Which is pretty unfortunate. And uh, I should focus on what I need to do soon. So like, oh yeah, again, thinking of fighting Brawly. Um... I don't know. I think it really depends on what Pokemon I catch coming up soon, because... I don't think Marshstomp can do it by herself. Or his self. I believe it was a boy. Cause it's like, with Combusken, I was an evolved Pokemon with Double Kick, which was a very powerful move. I should have gotten Mudshot, but I leveled up twice off of stupid Roxanne, man. I didn't mean to level up twice off of her, but I did, so I didn't get the Mudshot. So I don't have my strong move going in against them. So I'll be dealing less damage, which means I'll be taking more hits. That's, that's not any good. It's not any good. Um... What is even, like, in between here? I mean, I could catch my own Makuhita. That would be pretty useful. Okay, Makuhita. Yeah, I catch him in that cave, whatever that cave is called. Let's see, it's uh, the Granite Cave. There we go. In the Granite Cave. What are all the Pokemon in here? Let's see. It is Zubat, uh, Abra, Geodude, and Makuhita. Alright, the Geodude would be pretty bad. That's a 10% chance. The Abra would be the worst, because it'll probably just teleport away. The Zubat... The Zubat, like, would resist the attacks. I don't think it would be too good, but... The Zubat, I guess. Yeah, Makuhit is 50% chance. Like, if I can literally just flip this coin heads, dude, we will get the Makuhita. I just have to win one coin flip. One coin flip and I get the Makuhita. But if I if I don't get the Makuhita, man, it's just... We're not, we're not gonna fight the guy. We're not gonna fight Brawly on his islands right when we go there. Now nah, we're gonna leave, go to Slateport, try to catch some more Pokemon, cause my team is hot garbage, dude. Hot garbage the team. It's just, I have like, what, two normal types and then one dark type? Like, I'm, I can't do anything to him. It's 
I mean, yeah, like, my bug resists attacks, but it doesn't have any strong attacks itself. Alright, let's, let's get out of here. Alright, hello there, good sir. Do I want to sail? Yes, I would like to sail, please. Yes, one trip to do for it. The coin flip. <laughs> Come on, let's go, dude! I just need to win one heads. One coin flip. 50% chance. Oh! That's gonna be my dad calling me! Yeah, nah, I'm just I'm just on a boat. I got time. Oh yeah, because I think he has to call you after you get your fourth gym so you like know what to do. Or no, he is the fourth gym, right? Do you fight him after Watson, or do you fight him after Flannery? No, he must be the fifth gym. I think you fight Flannery first. Alright, how are we doing? Yeah, everybody's healed up. Level 8. Good to go. Uh, maybe skip that one? Alright. Coin flip. Here we go. Here we go. 50% chance. Makuhita. <laughs> Makuhita. Makuhita! Yes! Let's go! Oh man, I was really hoping we'd win the coin flip. We did it! Now I have to catch the Pokemon. It's it's not over yet. Not over. Flannery greater than Norman? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Flannery is first, but I, I couldn't remember. Wait, Beach Life is Bug? Bug is not very effective on... Oh, so we're not very effective to each other, huh? I see, I see. That's fine, that's fine. Just get him in the yellow, start chucking Pokeballs. Let's go ahead and switch to Marsh Stomp. We're not taking too much damage. Oh, a focus energy. Now I'm shaking in my boots. There it is. We got 26 Pokeballs. I can chuck Pokeballs all day, man. But, you know, if you want to go into the first one, that'd be cool too. My boy! What am I gonna name him? What will I name the Makuhita? Oh yeah, that's right, I was supposed to name one after Catrolius. The fighting type Pokemon. Alright, let's do it. Oh... Wait... Is it... is it K-O-U? Something like that. Maybe. Maybe that's how you spell his name. I think there's a second U, but I can't fit it in there, so that'll have to do. That'll have to do. Alright, so now we have a Makuhita. Now we have something we can fight with. But yeah, let's, uh, let's put him in front. Let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, the Nincada's cool and all, but it's not going to be doing anything soon. Yeah, does Nincada ever learn anything good, ever? Let me look that up real quick. you ever learn anything good, ever, in your entire life? Tell me the answer is yes. I mean, it can learn ground-type attacks. It can learn dig. That's kind of cool, I guess. What about when you evolve into Ninjask? When you evolve into Ninjask at level 20, you can learn Double Team, uh, Fury Cutter, Sword Stance, Slash, and Baton Pass. Yo, it can learn Baton Pass? That's pretty good! It can Sword Stance and, uh, wait, is it, does it have Speed Boost? Yeah, it has Speed Boost. So if I just double Sword Stance, Baton Pass, yo, I can do some sweeping, man. I am down, I am 100% down for that, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah, we will, we will do that. We will level up a ninjask and pass it like a champ. Um, this tentacle is probably going to beat me, so I'll just go ahead and swap to Marsh Stomp. <laughs> Punchy's a terrible name. Ah, Super Sonic, come on, man. What do you gotta do all that for? Why do you gotta do all that? Hurt himself in confusion, of course I did. Because why wouldn't I? 
with this next hit, though. <laughs> Yo, I won one too many coin flips. Not allowed to not hit myself in confusion, man. Alright, there we go. There's the one hit on Tentacle. Yo, control is level 9. Are we only at the one Pokemon? Fair enough. Punchinello? That's a good name. That is a very good name. Punchinello is perfect. <laughs> but, yeah, nah. Controlis wanted to be named after a fighting type Pokemon, so we did it, man. We in there. Let's go, mister. I still have, uh, a Catrolius in front. Alright, let's go, Catrolius! Believe in yourself! Believe in your abilities! Alright, what does he have? Magikarps or more tentacles? Hello, Magikarp. Alright, so, I guess I'll focus energy? <laughs> I mean, I might as well. I'm not, I'm not exactly doing a lot here. We're just gonna be doing some tackles. We'll eventually win the fight, because it's a magic card if it can't do anything to me. So we'll just get we'll get those tackles in there. Hopefully we get some crits, that would be nice. Very good. Any second now. Any second now I will get the crit. Cause I mean focus energy increases it by two, right? And the base crit chance I think is one out of sixteen. So I should crit every eight attacks. I think that's how it works. I want to say. <laughs> well, didn't get any crits on that magic card. But this tentacle, though, I'm about to hard body him. No worries. Confused and hurt myself with confusion. That's not the best. I'll give him a chance, but I'll probably swap after this turn. And... oh, use Tackle! Yo, got the crit! Okay, okay. Yo, you still got a chance, Controllius. You still got a chance. Ah, poisoned! Really? Okay. Snapped out of confusion, though. Let's go. Into the Tackle. Finish them off. No problem. No problem. Easy every time. Go level 10! Oh, learned Arm Thrust. Perfect. And then, let me guess, Magikarp for the last one? Yeah. Now, I'll stay in on Magikarp. Like, I can, uh, I can cure the poison. Like, not in the middle of the fight, that's against my rules. But Magikarp's not gonna put me in lethal or anything like that. So I'll be fine. Let's see, Even Dominator was asking on my Discord if I was about to stream back at, uh, 6.57. I always stream at 7 p.m. See, let me type that out. I always stream at 7 p.m. EST. There we go. Fishing great, but so is Batman. If you don't mind, can we battle again? Yo, don't call me, man. See, I have uh, 13 HP. Can I make it? Oh, excuse me. I have 5 HP still. No worries. Easy every time. Alright, so feeling good about this, man. Makuhita is definitely a Pokemon that can do its own leveling. Let's see, how much experience can we get in the cave, actually? Yeah, because we have to do the cave anyways, so let's just do that right now. Do I still have a repel? I think I might still have a repel. Ah, 
so close. Get out of here, Daddy. Oh, such good XP. 74 experience for one fight? Oh, and there's the escape rope. I need that. I don't know. I think I'll level up a bit and then go deeper into the cave. Because Makuhita can't fight everything. Yeah, look at that. That's level 8. Yeah, the last one was level 6, wasn't it? Only have a 2 level advantage. That gives me arm thrust, though. He does not have arm thrust. Uh oh, focus energy. That's uh, that's not a good sign. But you can't you can't deal that much damage. Shouldn't be able to anyways. Not in one turn. And he'll double focus energy, so we're double fine. Ah, oh, it's just scary. All right, there we go, level eleven. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe level 12 before I go deeper into the cave? I think that would be safe. I just, uh, I can't afford to lose Makuhita, man. I need him. Like, I'm gonna need him for fighting, uh, Norman. And he would be useful against, uh, the stupid gym leader, too. If I want to use him against Magneton. I probably won't, though. I'll probably just use Marsh Stomp. Then again, I don't know, because it's like, I don't have Mud Shot. I only have Mud Slap because of the double level I got on uh, Roxanne. We'll see, we'll see. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. Alright, so Zubat is Poison Flying. Pretty sure Flying is the resist. I'm not sure about Poison. Poison doesn't resist fighting, does it? Let me look that up. I don't remember. Yeah, no, Poison does resist fighting, so that's that's double resist on Zubat. Maybe maybe catching a Zubat wouldn't have been too bad for the Brawly fight. But then again, I don't know if Zubat learns anything. It's like that's just a problem with early Pokemon. A lot of early Pokemon don't learn any good attacks. Yeah, let me look up Zubat. I'm curious. Does Zubat learn anything? Let's see, let's see. Zubat learns at level 11 Astonish, level 16 Bite, and yeah, it does learn Wing Attack, but it's not till level 21, which is above the level cap, so it's not exactly the best. But yeah, it's, it's really good we caught the Makuhita. The Zubat was like 30% likely, I think, so catching the Zubat would have been pretty bad. It's not the worst Pokemon, though. Not the worst Pokemon. Definitely not. Alright, so level 12. I'm gonna go ahead and heal, and then we'll go back into the cave and try to find what's his face? Mr. Uh, Steven. Yo, thank you. He's supposed to be like studying rocks or something? I don't know. Then it makes more sense in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Like he's straight examining Mega Stones. But I don't know. I don't actually remember the like story or plot or any of the dialogue in this game, man. Like, um, maybe I should pay a bit more attention. Maybe he does explain why he's looking at the rocks. Like, I know he's like a scientist or something. Or at least like he dabbles. I don't remember if he's like looking at evolution stones or something. I don't really think that's his thing. That's like, what, what does he use? I know he uses Metagross, obviously. But like, what is other Pokemon are? I don't remember. I don't remember. Maybe it has something to do with the Oxus, like Pokemon coming from outer space. Something to do with a meteorite, maybe. I don't remember. Yeah, let me look up Steven, see what his Pokemon team is. So can only remember the Metagross. Let's see, he has... 
Uh, Mitang, which will eventually become the Metagross. Uh, Skarmory, and Agron. And oh, that's when he's fighting with you, I think. But when you fight against him, it looks like he has Skarmory, Cladle, Agron, Cradley, uh, Armaldo in Metagross. Oh my. Uh, that can't be right. Is that just his standard team? Why are they so high level? They're all in the 70s. There's no way. I can't be right. I must be looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, that's- it says that's him in Meteor Falls. Oh yeah, that's right! He's not the champion in this game! I forgot about that. He is not the champion. It's somebody else. It's, uh, Wally? Is Wally the champion? Cause yeah, like, or no, is it... No, I think Wally's the champion in the remake. But I think Wally, like, fights you right before the Elite Four? Wallace? Is Wallace the- the water gym leader? Because I remember the water gym leader leaves, and I think he becomes a champion, and he uses, like, Militic and stuff. Yes? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a while, man. It's It's been a while. <laughs> I'm not gonna remember all this stuff. Yeah, why do I have to be confused? I don't deserve this. Yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna have to go back and heal. I was gonna do the full cave, but... Confusion OP, man. Every time. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, Wallace is the champion. And yeah, his Pokemon are in the high 50s. None of them are level 60. His highest is level 58. Gee, she has a good team, though. Wailord, Tentacruel, Ludicolo, Wishcash, Gyarados, Militic. Yeah, really good typings. The only mono waters he has are, what, Wailord and Militic? Pretty good. Uh, Super Sense Slayer saying Steven is the true final boss, similar to Red from Gen 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I, I don't think I ever fought, uh, Steven in Emerald. I'm pretty sure I just beat the game and I was like, <laughs> I'm all done. I mean, I liked Emerald, but I didn't really do post-game stuff when I was a kid. I didn't get into post-game until Gen 4. Going saying, hi, how's it going? Um, it's been better. <laughs> it's been better, uh, Valiant. It's not the worst. But oh my goodness, these Zubats are ah, so annoying. Yep, can't escape. Jayglo saying, so I heard you like to shoot rocks at Mega Man. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Those are lies. I was trying to say that obviously I'll be playing more Mega Man games on my stream when it gets closer to Mega Man 11 coming out. That's not till like, what, October, I think? So we're, uh, we're quite a few months away from that. In the meanwhile, I'm pretty invested into the Pokemon. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but like, that doesn't come out till November. Feels bad, man. Now, uh, overshot by 9000 saying, yeah, same, I've only beat the game once. That was way back when they first came out, yup, yup. Yeah, I beat Emerald the one time, I didn't do any of the post-game stuff, so like, I don't remember it very well. Like, um, I did a lot more in, like, all the other gens, like, especially, like, Gen 4 and Gen 6. I think those are the ones I put the most time into the post-game for. I didn't really do a lot for Gen 7. To be fair, there isn't a lot to do in Gen 7. Because it's like, yeah, you get to fight, like, red and, uh, green or blue, whatever you want to call them, in, uh, Sun and Moon, but it's like... They're just there, right? Like, you're just going to that, like, last island. And it's like, you know, you're trying to explore all the stuff there, see what's what. Trying to get to the battle tree if you know it's already there. But, um... But then, yeah, red and green are like, Oh, hey, how you doing? Wanna fight? And it's like, okay. And their Pokemon aren't that high level in comparison to, like, the people you've been fighting before. Compared to, like, say, red and, um... You know, gold or heart gold or... or Steven, man. I don't remember them having level 70 Pokemon, at least. Alright, Vile Throw. Yeah, I kind of want that. No Sand Attacks. It was after Gen 6? Uh, Gen 7, Sun, Moon, and Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon? And, uh, Valiant saying, I'm focused on playing as Shulk and Fiora in Xenoblade 2, <laughs> plus getting bodied by the new super bosses. Yo, that's cool, man. 
Yeah, no, I didn't realize the DLC was already out. I remember they were talking about it at the Nintendo Direct. I was like, oh, that looks cool. But then, you know, they started talking about Smash Brothers, and everything that's not Smash Brothers just kind of fell to the side. And, uh, Overshot saying you haven't played Sun and Moon? Yeah, that's fair. Like, um, Sun and Moon's definitely not for everybody. Like, those games are very different. They don't have the gym battles, there's no gyms. There's, um, there's a lot of hand-holding, my goodness. Because, like, I'm complaining about them, you know, forcing me to use the, uh, dex nav to call the president. But, yeah, no, nah, it's, it's much worse than Sun and Moon. But again, like, I, I don't know. By Gen 7, I was so ready for a breath of fresh air. I was so ready, man. Because it was just, you know, eight gyms, evil team. Eight gyms, evil team. Eight gyms, evil team. Eight gyms, evil team. They just kept doing it. Just keep doing the same thing. You know, it's just different faces. But they're all doing the same play. I've seen this play six times already. But Gen 7 comes out and they're like, yeah, no gyms. I was like, what? No gyms? And then, like, there was Team Skull. But, like, they obviously weren't the real evil team. Because, you know, you have this other team that's all in white. And it's like, why are they a team? Why are they why are they so good? Why are they shoving down this good team all up in my face? Why is that such a big deal? Obviously they have to be the super secret evil, which I guess that's spoilers, but it's so obvious. Like, I knew that before I played the game. Um Let's see, what was the story on Gen 6? Gen 6 doesn't have much story. Let me see what I can remember. Um, you start in, you know, this town, you've, uh, moved there, uh, your mother is a breeder, I believe, of Rhydon? I think she's a Rhydon rider, like, she rides Pokémon in competitions, and, uh, you're finally old enough to go out on your own, so you're trying to be independent, um, so, and, uh, you make instant friends with, like, it's like four or five kids that all live in, like, that same town. Yeah, what was it? Tierno, Shauna, your rival, uh, oh, there's another kid with like orange hair, I can't remember what his name is. So yeah, I, I guess it was only four of them. But yeah, you make friends with all of those guys. I can't hit that Pokemon. I can't touch him. But yeah, there's those four kids, and they're all like, yeah, we're gonna go on our Pokemon adventure. Uh, the, the kid with the orange hair, I think, wants to complete the Pokedex. Tierno wants to like find Pokemon with the best dance moves, and then, um, uh, your rival, I think, just, you know, wants to have a typical Pokemon adventure, and Shauna, I think, wants to create good memories. I think that's what all their adventures are. They're all kind of one-note characters, unfortunately. I like what the idea of what they were going for, because, like, you actually have, like, four rivals instead of just one, but I don't know. They're, they're all really one-note. Um, so yeah, you go around trying to, you know, do the whole gym challenge thing. The professor, I believe, gives you two Pokemon? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get, you know, your starter. Do you get your starter from your mom? Because the professor is not so like Lumio City, which is way further down. I don't remember where you get your starter. I think it's from your mom. Because yeah, the professor, I'm pretty sure, gives you Squirtle, Charmander, or Bulbasaur. And then, you know, you... Like, that's just so good, the utility, man, and having those pure typing, strong Pokemon. But, um, yeah, you're doing your gym challenges, and the professor's looking into Mega Evolution. So, you know, you're, uh, you're looking into that because he's looking into it. Uh, what did I miss out on? It's irritating knocking out DLC, only for more to show up. Best to do it all at once? Fair enough. And, uh, Winter say Mufasa wanted to make the world beautiful <laughs> by destroying it. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was the evil team. The evil team's Team Flare in this one. Uh, the team leader's name is Lissandre, which I only remember because, like, my niece has the, uh, she plays the online card game, and that's one of her cards. It's a pretty good card. It allows you to, like, switch the opponent's, uh, po active Pokémon. But yeah, Lissandre... He wants to make the world a more beautiful place, which is, like, weird. I think beautiful is supposed to be, like, a metaphor for, like, a world without, like, war and people don't hate on each other for being slightly different, something like that. But it comes off way more stupid. Like, I'm, I think that's what they were going for. I think there was a message they were trying to get across, but 
I don't know. Lissandra is pretty dumb, IMO. And Jago says, well, thanks for spoiling Moon. I'm selling Moon for $25. <laughs> what could you do after you beat the game? Um, after you beat the game, um, you unlocked, like, this five-star restaurant or something. And you could, uh, grind there, man, and get, you would get so much XP. Because, oh, man, Generation 6 was the best when it came to, like, grinding competitive Pokemon. Because, yeah, you could, there were set places for leveling up, like, instantly. There were, um... Or it was so easy to do like horde battles and have all your effort values for your Pokemon in like seconds. So easy. Um, you had the powers. I can't remember what they were called. The O powers or something like that. And the O powers were things you could send to other people and use on yourself as well. And so you could like increase your money that you uh, your money gain from battles, or you could increase your uh, experience gain. And yeah, you would just level up ridiculously quickly, or just have all the money in the world. You could buy anything. Um, I don't remember there being like, oh yeah, that's right. They didn't have like a battle tree. I don't think they had a battle tree. They had the battle chateau, and there you could refight uh, gym leaders and a lot of notable trainers. But like, it was a ranking system. It was ranked by like. I don't know, it was like this kind of like nobility kind of thing, like you could be like a duke or a lord or a knight or something like that, or you know, if you're a lady or a duchess, like your rank would go up with the more wins you would get in the battle chateau, and the more wins you would get, the more like different tickets you could use. I think there was like a bronze, a silver ticket, or a gold ticket, and essentially you would send out invitations for people to come to the battle chateau to fight you. It was pretty cool in my opinion, I thought it was really interesting. The Battle of Mycin. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. It was next to the Friend Safari. I forgot. Yeah, it was, uh... Because, yeah, you could go there, and there'd be this girl in, like, a Lolita dress, and you would challenge in, like, rounds of... Like, you would fight, like, ten people, and then usually her, or, like, her sister, or a friend that looks like her would come out, and you would fight them. It was okay. It, it wasn't as... I thought the Battle Tree was a better implementation of that, but... Yeah. What's a tree? Oh yeah, you never played Sun and Moon. It's like the battle train, I think it was called in Gen 4? Or was that Gen 5? I don't know. Oh, a Steel Wing TM. How, how nice. Pokemon appear quite capable. If you keep training, you could even become the champion of the Pokemon League one day. That's what I think. I know, since we've gotten to know each other, let's register each other on the Pokenavs. Gen 5 was the battle sub? Oh, okay. Yeah, nah, I, I don't remember these things. Like, it was Gen 4 or 5, one of those. Apparently, the answer was 5. Now, let's uh, escape rope out of here. Where's that at? There it is. You were playing, Moon? <laughs> don't need to now? Uh, I mean, you could still play it. There's a, uh, wait, no. Did you already beat the game? Is that what you were saying? Yeah, if you already beat Moon, there's not a lot to do. Unless, you know, you're really into PvP and you, like, want to fight against people. Because, yeah, I loved, loved just doing competitive Pokemon. But, yeah, if you've already beaten the game, there's there's not really anything to do at the end. No, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't saved the game yet. We're going this long without saving, I didn't realize. Alright, yeah. Give me one sec, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> 